cheap cars are going to be a thing of the past. They really are. I'm going to explain to you why in this video. There's loads and loads of different reasons, but it's happening already. For instance, when I was a kid, the starting price of a Skoda was £8,000 in today's money, whereas the starting price of the Skoda range right now, £17,000, means that the price has more than doubled. What is going on? Well, stick with me because I'll be explaining exactly what is going on. Anyhow, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's start this video by explaining why cars are getting more expensive. So that cheapest Skoda that you can get now is a Fabia. It used to be the Citigo, which was more affordable, but they've axed it. Also, Seat has axed its sister car, the normal petrol version of the Mi. You can only get an electric version of the Mi now, and electric cars are just more expensive because of the tech. The only one of those three cars remaining is the Volkswagen Up. So that starts from £13,000, so it's not exactly cheap. Also, other manufacturers are axing their cheap cars. For instance, Citroen won't be replacing the C1, Peugeot won't be replacing the 108, and Fiat isn't going to replace the Panda or the petrol version of the 500. You'll only be able to get the electric version. And I refer you to my previous point, electric cars are just more expensive. Also, it's not a UK-based problem, it's global. For instance, Ford have axed the Fiesta, the Fiesta in North America and the Pacific. What's, what's happening? Actually, in North America, Ford sells eight SUVs, seven pickup trucks, and then a bunch of hybrids and electrics. They actually only sell one car. Do you know what that one car is? Thank God, it's the Mustang. They're still selling that as a normal internal combustion engine car, though it's not cheap. Actually, manufacturers are moving away from cheap cars because they're really into selling more profitable SUVs. You see, 10 years ago, 7% of cars sold were SUVs. Today, half of them. Half of all cars sold are SUVs. We love SUVs and car makers love selling them to us as well. What manufacturers aren't so keen on selling us anymore is small, cheap cars. Reason being that the profit margin is really, really tight on them. So in order to justify building them in the first place, they need to be able to sell absolutely shed loads of the things, but that's just not happening anymore. For instance, five years ago, one in five cars sold in the United States of America was under $20,000. Today, only one in 10 is under $20,000. Now, I'm sure it's a similar story for Europe and the rest of the world. There's another reason why small cheap cars are dying off, and that's to do with carbon dioxide emissions and the fact that manufacturers will be fined if they don't hit certain targets. But you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Matt. Surely small cheap cars are lighter and have smaller engines than bigger, more expensive cars. Therefore, their carbon dioxide emissions will be less. And you'd be right. The only thing is, though, is that for some reason, governments have actually set targets that aren't so strict for manufacturers of heavier cars. So in a way, while governments are setting targets for CO2 emissions, they're actually encouraging the manufacturers to build heavier cars because those targets aren't quite so tough to hit. I just seems madness. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comments below. But that's what's happening. And it's meaning that small, cheap cars are dying out. It's not just carbon dioxide emissions that are affecting the sale of small, cheap cars. It's also the forthcoming Euro 7 regulations, which also monitor other things such as like particulates and NOx emissions and stuff like that. And there's rumours within the industry that the new Euro 7 regulations are going to be so tough that it's going to cost between 1500 and 5000 pounds in order to make a car euro 7 compliant and that could actually just make internal combustion engine cars petrol and diesels completely uneconomical to build and that obviously leaves us with electric cars and as we all know electric cars don't tend to be cheap for instance the cheapest electric car you can currently buy is a fiat 500e starts from 20000 pounds but that includes a two and a half thousand pound government grant which you won't be getting when every car is electric. So that would work out to £22,500. The cheapest internal combustion engine car you can currently buy is a Dacia Sandero, and that costs £8,000, so definitely cheap. A lot cheaper than a Fiat 500e, especially without its grant. Maybe, though, there is a glimmer of hope. After all, Dacia has built its brand on selling affordable cars, so surely its EVs will be affordable. Hmm... 
I'm not sure how affordable. You see, it's just launched an EV called the Spring in mainland Europe, and it costs 15,000 pounds. So almost twice the price of the Sandero. I think we're gonna be in trouble. Speaking of the Sandero, that brings me on to safety. You see that car only scored two out of five stars in the latest Euro NCAP crash test. The reason for its poor score, it doesn't have all the electronic safety kit, which stops having an accident in the first place, so it was marked down. All that stuff costs money. Also, building in crumple zones and stuff like that, that all adds to the cost of a car bumping up the price, meaning cheap cars become less viable. It can also mean that certain cheap cars are actually withdrawn from sale. For instance, back in 2017, the Fiat Punto scored no points in that year's Euro NCAT crash test, and so it was withdrawn from sale entirely. The bad news for cheap cars such as the Dacia Sandero is that from 2022, the European Union is mandating that all cars should be fitted with certain levels of safety kit as standard, and obviously that's gonna add to the cost of the cars. Now here's a quick rundown of some of the kit they're gonna need to be fitted with. Advanced emergency braking. Alcohol interlock installation facilitation. Basically that means that if you get caught drink driving, then the police can quite easily just put a breathalyzer in your car so that you can't drive it unless you pass the test. Drowsiness and attention Detection. Accident data recorder. An emergency stop signal. Full width frontal occupant protection. Improved seat belts. I think that just means improved seat belts. Head impact zone enlargement for pedestrians and cyclists and safety glass in case of crash. Intelligent speed assistance. Lane keeping assist. Pole side impact occupant protection. And finally, a reversing camera or detection system. So basically so you don't like reverse into stuff. And obviously all of that adds to the cost, making the car more expensive and therefore no longer cheap. But why does cheap cars dying off really matter? Well, it'll mean that poorer people will be priced out of the market for buying new cars and while new cars get more expensive, eventually they'll go onto the used market and then used cars will actually get more expensive and this is usually where poorer people or new young drivers are shopping. As a result, they probably won't be able to afford to buy a car and therefore they won't be able to get around as easily as before, which quite frankly isn't very fair. However, it could also backfire on the car manufacturers because the younger car buyers are shopping at the cheaper end of the market, they may not start a relationship with the manufacturers, which means that they don't go on to buy cars like their previous generations used to. And this could put the car manufacturers out of business eventually. So I've given you the problems, what are the solutions? Well, one would be for more manufacturers to join forces to get economies of scale to help bring down the cost of the components for electric cars. Also, governments continuing with grants on electric vehicles, even when pretty much every new car has to be sold as an electric car. There may be just natural fashion trends. We'll see a switch away from big SUVs back to smaller cars, which are obviously less expensive to make. Who knows what's gonna happen? What do you think? Let me know in the comments box below. Do you think that cheap cars are gonna be a thing of the past? I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like me to do in the comments below. Click on those windows there to watch some more videos and on that box there to go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on a new car.